finally in Oman. A dream destination for many, we are one of them and were in the first instance surprised by the beautiful landscape with its many hills. Our first destination was the desert in the very southwest of Oman, which meant a journey of several days through fairly monotonous terrain. But as soon as we leave the main road, things get exciting again, not just thanks to the dust clouds from the other trucks. Soft sand passages alternate with hard tracks and that can sometimes be quite rough. But that's enough for today. We look for and find a cozy spot in the dunes. The next morning, after the awesome sunrise, we set off quite early. The fine powdery sections are just crying out for some video filming, even if I swallow a little sand. The track is well maintained. We kept seeing road construction teams. This is probably because most of the oil occurrences are in the back country, on the border with Saudi Arabia. Despite all the work, there is still enough washboard, so we are getting shaken up quite a bit and we really hope that the bumpy track is slowly coming to an end. We made it, our tea survived too, and so we can enjoy the stretch from Murray down to the coast. We really liked this section. Beautiful, deserted rock and sandstone landscape, only interrupted by a few small Bedouin settlements. And of course a few camels now and then. We enjoy this route because it offers exactly what we love about traveling. Unbelievable expanses, fantastic landscapes and almost no people. So we have all this beauty to ourselves. That and the time we have are the greatest luxury for us. The route is not too long, only 83 kilometers, so we only need half a day. Unfortunately, that's much too short. We soon reach Adam, the last Bedouin village on this route. We 
we still have to cross this canyon and then pass the military post and then civilization will have us back again. The route along the coast in a northeasterly direction does not lead down by the sea, but further up in the mountains. Now and then we come across the usual camels, sometimes cows too, and sometimes we have to let the young wild ones go first. To get to the beach, we first have to drive down the mountain. Done. Now we just have to find a comfortable spot for Globy and us. And that's no problem at all in this quiet little place, especially because we were lucky and up here during the week. We can even go crab hunting with our cameras. After a few relaxing days spent doing nothing, we trundle along the coastal road. The contrast between the mountainous landscape and the views of the sea with its blue whiteness is amazing and offers great photo opportunities accordingly. When the road ends at the sea, we stop to look at the sea urchins, fish and crabs in the rock pools. When you drive along here, the stories of Sinbad the sailor spring to mind. He is said to have come from Zohar, an Omani port city. But whether it's a fairy tale or not, the coast here is simply magically beautiful. It's afternoon and time to look for a place to sleep. We find one in a small wadi. It's just sensational between the palm trees here. Yeah. 